Shalom, more praises to Yahweh, Bar Shemel, Shai, Bar Shemel, Rakak, with us, the warners and to the apostles and elders of great most on the rule well. And Shalom to the whole four let. This is Paya Allah. And um, this is news and prophecy, prophecy and news. I've got an article here um, from Benzi Benzinga, and it was forward to the, forwarded to me by the elder brother, Rapa Muff. And, um, it's some interesting points in there. So I was just meditating on it. Um, and I just thought, you know what, actually, let me do a video on it. So the title reads, Putin ally declares Russia will target this city first if World War Three erupts. All right, so Putin is, as you know, right now we're in the midst of, um, you know, how Yahweh Shai basically sig signified it being the beginning of sorrows. All right. which I'll read, uh, says Matthew 24 and 4, And Yahweh shall answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning the be, are the beginning of sorrows. Right? And there was also another one in the book of... Oh. So this is 2nd Ezra 16 and 17. And this is what Ezra said when he was shown all of these things by the angel, Uriel. It says, woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? All right, this is where we're at. All right, and this is what we're instructed to do. So I read this in Second Ezra the ninth chapter. Uh, yeah, so Second Ezra nine and one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, when I, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made." And what I've, what I've just done by, you know, speak, showing the prophecy that Yahweh Shai uttered, being that of the beginning of sorrows and it being reiterated through uh, Ezra or Esdras, is showing you a measuring of the times to let you know that, oh, this is the time that we're in. To everything there is a season and a, t and a time for, um, for everything there is a season and a time for, for everything under heaven Lucy paraphrasing The book of Ecclesiastes The third chapter The first verse Alright So you have to know What time you're in Alright And that's why uh, King Solomon broke it down Time for peace And time for love Time for war A time for hate a t Sorry a Time for Hate A time for love A time for war A time for peace So all these different things Are different times But you have to actually Be aware of what time you're in Alright And that's being done how do you do that by measuring the time by the prophetic words of our heavenly father through his great men and and the key ones being through his son Yahweh Shai, who when he comes back is going to deliver the children of israel therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of these things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning for lack, as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. All right. So the beginning of the end, and which we're in the time, we're at the end of the end. But the beginning of that end of the end is being manifest. Verse six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works, and endings in effects and signs. All right. Now this is the key point as to what we. 
how we're all to arm our minds, it says, verse 7, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have, be ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. All right? And that's the key point. All right? That's why we have to look for these things. Because if we're doing the works of the faith, all right, being blessed with the gift of faith, we'll be doing the works that show that faith, all right? Because what what did the Lord say? Or in a book, what did James say? He said, faith without works is dead, all right? So, you know, he asked a man to show him his faith without works and he will establish his faith by his works, all right? So this is what we're doing, all right? This is what we understand, and that's a good instruction as to how we ought to move in this time. So, with that being said, this title, Putin Ally declares Russia will target this city first if World War Three erupts. So we have to know this, all right, because this is saying this is where we're at. And also, this is why the word, the, the Bible, the Holy Bible is known as what? The Comforter. All right, because when you read something like this and what we're going to read into, if you're in that said city, then you may be, you know, troubled with fear. When in reality, the words of the scriptures are going to comfort you. And that's, Lord willing, what I will do through going through these scriptures. So it says, uh, this article was originally published on June 25th, 2020. All right, so it reads, a parliament member of Russia and President Vladimir Putin's staunch support Andrei Gurulov, Gur, 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 or Yov, sounded out a belligerent warning in his appearance as a guest on state-backed national television in June. All right, Gurul, Gurul Yov, Gurul Yov, Gurul Yov was discussing Lithuania's blockade of the neighboring Russian exclave of Kaliningrad. All right. For supplying Kaliningrad, Russia may consider invading the Baltic, compromising Lithuania and Estonia, the former defense official told the TV. A video uh, shared by the Daily Mirror with English subtitles showed. Since these are NATO countries, a Russian invasion will, will trigger Article 5, potentially leading to World War Three. he added. We will destroy the entire group of enemy space satellites during the first air operation, Guru Love said. Right, what a lot of people fail to understand is that Russia have superior forms of technology, all right? Far superior forms of technology um, that basically benefit them in terms of warfare, all right? So let's read this. Um, oh, hypersonic. All right. So it says hypersonic weapons are missiles and projectiles which travel between 5 to 25 times the speed of sound, about 1 to 5 miles per hour. And they're not able to actually attain hit um Mac five. They actually um they can't go past Mac five because once you go past Mac five, basically all the weapons are, they they basically become they get compromised and they 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 useless basically. But this technology has been mastered by the Russians, right? And they able to travel close to the ground and basically attack, uh, go under the radar of missile defense systems, all right? So that's just one facet of what, what Russia has, all right, as to show you how they can have more, they could be more subtle in terms of warfare, all right? So America's claiming now that they have them, but for the longest time, they were they was saying that they never had them, but I mean, I'm sure if I look it up now, there'll be something different that they're saying, all right? So it says, um, it says, uh, 
The first to be hit will be London. It's crystal clear that the threat of the world comes from the Anglo-Saxons. All right, so this is crazy because what there's many layers to this because um, it says the first to be hit will be London. It's crystal clear that the threat of, to the world comes from the Anglo-Saxons. Now, the first way you could interpret it, you could deal with it based upon the elite banking families that are based out here and the fact that this is a financial cap capital, one of the three vile frogs or spirit, three vile spirits like onto frogs. It came out of the beast, all right, and London being the financial capital, which as the William Blake poem called Jerusalem basically says... At, towards the end of the poem, I believe, he basically says to set up Jerusalem in London's green, green, green pastures or something to that effect, all right? Or in England's green pastures. Because why? They deem this place a holy place, all right? In the eyes of the elites, the center of the world. And that's why they have the, uh, the, the time of the world operates from London, all right? Greenwich median time zones. All right, and if you just go down to East London, there's actually the spot where they say it's the center of the world. All right, this is the 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 base of the time, basically. This is zero, you know, degree zero, however you want to word it. All right, and that's why the Russians see it as a threat on one level, but then also on a spiritual level, when you deal with what what's being said, it says the first to be hit will be London. It's crystal clear that the threat of the world comes from the Anglo-Saxons. And obviously this isn't to, you know, up to, you know, supersede what the, the, the apostles are doing because they're the highest standing men. Right, New York within itself, Babylon the Great is a high place of high, um, high esteem. All right, spoken of highly in terms of the faith came out of New York, all right, Harlem, which is Yerushalayim, all right, Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, in the in these modern times, all right, that's where the the word came from, all right. But then, as I mentioned, they spoke of England, William Blake on the left hand side, them determining that they want to establish Jerusalem over here, all right, and there's also the vibration that the 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 brothers over here, all right, starting with the head, uh, the elder Ramar, all right, the elder Rakaya Kwam, the elder Rakaya Makapash, that basically spearhead, all right, that energy of what Anglo-Saxons, all right, the Saxony over here in this time, all right, which Anglo-Saxons basically mean angelic sons of Isaac. Um, I got some information on that, but I think I might do a separate video on that and just stick to what I'm going with. But that's the point. It's spiritual that they even said that. Because why we're over here disrupting the world, all right? And disrupting the new world order. Because really and truly, there's two forms of new world order, all right? Because Satan's kingdom is divided. There's that of the Russians, all right? Their new world order. And there's that of the Western society, NATO and the EU, the B system, which is that world order, all right? And there's an interview I was watching. I was having some of my favorites. But it's basically a guy boldly saying it, that, look, we're trying to establish a new world order. And no one would bat a blink an eyelid. Why? Because there would be what as what he was speaking to is in defense of the Western society and that he wants to, us, us, I said us, you know, he wants them to establish um, their new world order upon this earth. All right. And everyone would have been in cahoots with that because that means that what, we win and we'll be able to live in democracy and all these type of things. And that's basically why they're in, in one mind with it. He also said Russia will target critically important sites that will cut would cut off power to Europe. The US will have to ask Western Europe to continue fighting in the cold without food and electricity, he warned. And that's easily done because of what? They control the any the gas pipeline. Uh -huh. And prior to it be blown up, that was their, their great leverage. That look, man, you get with a program and then we'll turn the pipelines on. All right. So let me read oh, a few scriptures I just want to hit on. 
as to the threat of London being destroyed, all right? And brothers out over here that may not understand these scriptures, you know, you to be edified and built up by this word. So this is the book of Jeremiah 50, 11. It says, because you were glad, because you rejoiced, oh, you destroyers of mine heritage. Who's this speaking of? All right, it's talking of Esau. Right, they were in the EU, America. All right, ye destroyers of my heritage. Why? Because the Lord said, Ye shall discontinue from your heritage wherein I gave thee. All right, and then in that happening, what happening? We had a, a bastardization of our people. All right, whereby they basically were with new elements added into our cultivation, which diluted our heritage. All right. And now it's gone on so far that we're so far removed from what we originally were, all right, and become the great corruption of it. Unless you be of the elect, all right, you're being brought back onto the Lord and being shown your heritage once again. Because you're grown, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and bellow as bulls, all right, for uh, your mother shall be sore, um, Basically, when it says that you've grown fat as a heifer at grass and the bellows and bellows bulls, they basically enjoyed great wealth, all right? So much so that they think the Heavenly Father is at peace with them, all right? But he's going to show his hand, his right hand on them and, and bring them to a great destruction. Verse 12, for, for your mother shall be so confounded. Who's their mother? Who's America's mother? The UK, England. Right, London, London's included in that. The city state of London, should I say, is included in that. All right, she that bear you shall be ashamed. All right, behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness and a dry land and a desert. So, she that bear you is going to be ashamed because why she's gonna that in the United Kingdom, England, London, all right, the city of London is going to have a part to play in the destruction of America. So even though Russia is saying it's a key part that they're gonna they want to take out, there's gonna be a t there's gonna be a great turn of offense, all right? They're gonna make it as to where it's not gonna go as the way the Russians are saying, all right? Remember, let's see, I'm gonna read that now. It tells you in the Book of Revelations as to what you know that these nations are in agreement, but only for the moment. All right, for the sake of these prophecies to be fulfilled. Revelation 17 and 16, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. All right, so these ten horns being the ten, the, the EU, all right, European Economic, uh, uh, EEC, uh, you can look it up, man. It's just, it, my mind is drawing up blanks. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall eat the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. England, the UK, the United Kingdom is part of those ten horns, all right? And they're going to have a part to play in the destruction of America, all right? So they ain't going to be taken out by the Russians. You never know, they might get hit by a missile. There may be some f form of collateral damage. But as far as them being wiped off the face of the earth, that's off the cards, right? Because they have a part to play in the destruction of America. The ICBMs have America's name on it. Verse 17, for the most I have put in their hearts, be in their minds, to fulfill his will, all right? And to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the most I shall be fulfilled, all right? So there's going to be a change of tide. When that change of tire comes, they're going to side with the Medes being the Russians. So let's read this. I'll close out on this one. So this is Isaiah 13 and 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children, and Babylon, the, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, 
a rat, that's them oven, the, the, them heathens coming over there, the Arabs, Ishmael, and basically making a kid in. Neither shall it be sh that the shepherds make their fold there, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. All right, so you're going to have what was the, the ashes and the dust of the White House and of prominent figures within America. You're going to have desert creatures basically weaving in and out of their their um, their um, uh, glass-stained windows, man. All right? And, then, you know, their great buildings, those pillars that are on the old to, to Mars Hill. And owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and the dragons in their pleasant pl places, uh, palaces, luckier. And her time is near to come, right? As we can see, it's happening right now. And the day shall not be prolonged, all right? So that's it. Only uh, the Russians are saying that. But guess what? Russia and the UK are going to wind up being allies in the destruction of America, all right? And the and angelic sons of Isaac are actually the big threat that they are to the world. They're not going to be... Um, com they're not going to be... Um, uh, obstructed from doing the the duty that needs to be done, of what, of basically paving the way for Yahusha to come back, and the select few, all right, many men that are selected to do so, that they're gonna bring that. For, you know, the Lord said He's coming to bring a fire upon the earth, and what be I if it be already kindled? You're gonna have the X Men out here, man, getting busy, all right, many Supermans. Many supermen's just out here getting busy, all right? And then Yahweh Shai is going to come. But they're not going to be moved out of the way. The angelic sons of Isaac being the descendants of Jacob, all right? The angelic one, they're going to be revealed in these last days and established. So with that, I pray you're edified to the next one. Say shalom, 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 shalom.